I think you can go ahead, if thank you. Okay, cool. So, um, hello everyone. Um, yeah, thanks, uh, Becky, for for inviting me. So I'm really uh, happy to be here. And for today, uh, so my name is uh, Ibe Manuel Nico Emugu, and uh, I'm from Cameroon, as Becky said before. And I was a uh, last part data quality intern uh, last year. So. Um, for today, we are going to do an introduction on QGIS. So uh, before that, feel free to add on the chat. Uh, if you are already use uh, QGIS, you can say yes or no. Um, yeah, good. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, before talking about QGIS, it is really important to know what uh, to know a bit about uh, GIS. So um, GIS uh, is made up of uh, many components, including uh, hardware, uh, method, data, software, and also a um, network. Next slide, Becky, please. So um, talking about um, data, we have like two main category. We have the vector data and the raster data. So um, if you want to know more about vector data, let's see like in JSM, for example, um, there are many layer wide mappings. So let's say the imagery that you are uploading, it's basically the raster data because it is com uh, it contain uh, many pixel and each pixel um, contain information. And then the data, the OSM, data, the OSM data layer that you are uploading a uh, 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 vector data. Or in the imagery, the data that you are mapping from the imagery, uh, the, the vector data. Next slide, please. Okay, here, for example, you have um, the vector data, which are uh, the point line and polygons. Here it is. and OSM uh, data layer, and you have like uh, the buildings, you have the lines, and you have, uh, yeah, you have like all the, the different information that uh, you have mapped. Uh, next, please. So here is the same image, uh, in, uh, image but it is the raster layer. Um, you will see uh, if you zoom in, uh, for example, if you zoom in, um, Vicky, do you allow me to share resume so that I can easily show? Please. Um, would you like me to stop sharing? Yep, please. Okay, better. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Um, let me know if you're able to see my screen. Coming up. Yes. Okay. This is why I was trying to explain. So um, here you have uh, two layers. So if I close the visibility here, you would only have vector data. So these are the data, the OSM layer that you have been downloading uh, from OSM or you have been mapping uh, before. And then if I close this one, the OSM layer, this here is raster data. But if you zoom in, you zoom in and you see zoom in, you will see like some grid and each grid contain uh, a particular information. Here you will see like one grid, 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 grid. Okay, this is good for, I will stop sharing this one. Let me continue sharing the screen. Okay, good. So show me that.
Let me know if you still continue to see my screen. Uh, we can see your screen, but it's not in presentation mode. What about now? Yeah, nice, better, okay. nice, thank you. So, um, yeah, now we will move to hardware. So, you know, um, the hardware is really important because these are the materials that uh, you, we use basically like to produce uh, the main information, the main uh, GIS information. So uh, they are made up of desktop, mobile, and also we use cloud just to um, connect uh, different uh, um, different uh, company uh, so that it can be really easily to share the different information about amongst uh, the, the, the company. Next. Regarding software, in terms of GIS, we have uh, two kinds of software. We have the proprietary software and the open source GIS software. So in the proprietary software, it's really uh, good to know that um, there are also some free proprietary software that we can have and also um, uh, uh, commercial uh, software. So um, for example, Let's say ArcGIS made up uh, by S3 is a proprietary software because um, uh, you need to pay and also uh, uh, there is a license that you should, uh, there is a unique license that you should add uh, so that you, you have a full functionality of the software. But in the, contra uh, in the opposite of the open source GIS software, where uh, people, it is really free, and also um, the open uh, source code can be shared to any contributor if uh, they want to develop um, the tools. And also uh, something that's really interesting with the open source GIS is also that it's almost um, updating because the contributor almost adds plugin so that uh, to easily um, make your work um, easy. Yes. So in terms of method, it's really important to know um, about the different approach that you should be taking so that uh, the information that you will be releasing to the user um, are understandable and then also, um, uh, yeah, easy. So it's really important for, for you to like to find the best way um, to, to represent the world in terms of encoding, and then how you manage uh, the data in terms of the different analysis that you're supposed to do. And then in terms of reporting, what kind of platform, what kind, uh, what is the best way for you to reach um, your, your, the user that you find? So it depends, you have to know, you have to know um, the best approach to, to, um, to, to see how uh, to reach your user. So. For example, if I'm in an area without maybe a light, without internet facilities, how am I going to use it? For example, if uh, um, if uh, the geoportal, for example, uh, might be a good um, um, it might be a good option if I want to display some information. If uh, my different um, maybe stakeholders are not in the same place, so yeah, so. It's it's really important for you to find the best way on which you can display your information and, and uh, it can be so that it could be really easy for the different uh, stakeholders to understand. So example of a GIS in use. So there are many, many examples of GIS in use, uh, example of GIS in use, but I will just take um, like, infrastructure and wildlife mapping because um, this is the main way I, I really work on, but uh, maybe you, you, you might be also have uh, your own experience. So for example, in terms of infrastructure, so I use um, maybe a QGIS for example, to map the main infrastructure of uh, uh, socioeconomics uh, in Yaoundé. In terms of wildlife mapping, and I also use uh, um, QGIS to to map um, the clearing where uh, basically you can easily find uh, the, the animals where the animals rest. Uh, it was really interesting because first I digitizing and then uh, it also with the knowledge, uh, with the local knowledge, uh, it also uh, helped to, to correlate the main information, the, the confrontation between technology and uh, local knowledge. So with GIS, we can, measure accurately, yes, that the, 
there are some functionality that allow you to, to measure quickly and accurately. Overlay and combine multiple layers of data. So change scale, zoom, and pant without respect to map sheet boundaries. And also uh, do not hesitate to add your question on the chat. Yeah, we ask. So why do we use open source GIS? So as I said earlier, uh, many contributor, um, uh, the open source, uh, the open source code is um, uh, video can change. Many contributor can change the open source code. So uh, you really need no license need. And then also uh, sometimes uh, it, it is almost uh, involving. So uh, with the plugin that you will see maybe today there is a new plugins yeah for maybe qgis how to use qgis with uh, ogk there is a new plugin so it's almost improving so that to make a uh, life um, um life of the maybe users really really easy and then so you have many analysis that uh, you can do so there are some example of maps so we are going to create maps today one maps today okay. Here, yeah, there is a share of the population using the internet. So based on your topic and the information you want to represent, there is particular map that you're supposed to produce. So here, there is also area district educational facilities. And then um, let me know if you have almost installed QGIS on your computer, but uh, to install QGIS, it's really simple and free. So first, the first thing to know is that QGIS runs on Windows for those who are Windows 11, Mac OS for those who are Mac and Linux. But what you need, you need a sufficient free disk space, approximately 10 gigabytes and administrator right to install software internet connection or offline installer. So it's, it's recommend, it's really recommend to use your computer because uh, while navigating in QGIS, it's really, really easy uh, to do that uh, with uh, your mouse. So Windows, those who have Windows 10, uh, prior to installation, you need to determine whether or not your computer run on 32 bytes or 64 bytes system. Uh, this is only for Windows 10, but uh, it's not the same approach with Windows 11. Uh, open the Start menu, right-click on Computer and select Properties. On the System type, the correct system type will be listed. And then downloading QGIS. So on your browser, uh, depend on your browser, uh, you add this link oh my god on your browser you add this link qgis.org and hit enter so and then you select download so let me do that on my browser um hi Eve. as you search yeah. for that there's a question in the chat Anal is asking what's the yeah. first version of qgis uh that you have used and the first version, the first version, the first or the first, the the first. Ah, okay, I think it's this one, this one uh, that I'm using. Uh, actually, um, the the three, uh, the the third uh, the version three that I'm using actually is 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 almost fast. Uh, there is no crash, and then. Uh, in terms of functionalities, uh, it's really amazing. We have many, many functionalities there. So here we go. Let me know if you're able to see my screen again. Yeah, we Sorry. can see a browser. Yeah, yeah, it, there is a little bit French. So I know that, um, yeah, but Feel free, you can type on your browser research, qgis.org. So, and then you move this one for French speakers, you can click um, Télécharger, and then we move to download QGIS. And then, 
here you will see um, this is the actual version. So the current version is QGIS 3.28 Firenze, and it was released on 20, uh, 21st uh, October 2022. So this is the latest version of QGIS. And if you want to download it, you click here and download it. And then, so let me try to download. Not sure I have QGIS. So here, based on the navigator, if you are use Google Chrome, you will see uh, on the bottom of your screen uh, that it is downloading here. But if you're using uh, maybe Internet Explorer, kindly check uh, up the, to your screen. So depending on, but the location, basically, once it, it is downloading, yo, it is one gigabyte, so I have to close it, put it on pause. But basically, you have to, um, once it will finish, you have to find the location. Basically, it is find on uh, download files, so you can easily find it there. And then let's go back to the presentation. So. Once you have clicked, scroll to your operating system. So most users will select uh, download for Windows. So um, I think the, um, the the approach that we did, it will adapt on the system that you have actually. So find the long-term release. For Windows users, select 64 bytes or 32 bytes based on your computer. So, um, and then once download, open the X file and follow the instruction. So basically the X files is located on uh, download or téléchargement. So um, yeah, you can find it there and then you double click to start the, insta uh, the installation of your uh, software. So navigating to QGIS. So let's move to QGIS. Okay. Let me open my future ish. Uh, before I open, Becky, do we have a question on the chat? Another question on uh, the chat. No, no question yet. No question. Okay. Yeah. So, Arnali, I'm using. Um, the version 3.18 actually, and it is really easy to, really fast and easy to 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 handle. One minute, please. So it takes a long time. So um, basically on QGIS, what will we be doing? Um, we will navigate, we will see um, the different panels, we will add data, we will also um, make uh, some analysis and we will create map, symbiology. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, let me know if you'll be able to see. Is it okay? Yes, it's up. So, okay, cool. So in QGIS, basically, uh, this is how um, it shows. So it shows like the latest project on which you are working on. So once you have installed it, now you won't see uh, really this one but you will see like a project template, uh, a new project template. And then it's also interesting that uh, you can have some news uh, regarding QGIS or uh, uh, additional information. So I will just close this and create like a new project. So in terms of panels, we have like four panels in QGIS. Sometimes when you are trying to, um, to open maybe your QGIS, you won't see these panels, but no worries. Uh, you can just uh, make sure uh, you add your um, 
because uh, here and then you right click it can be shown this is like um money um map navigation toolbar i guess no it's not map navigation toolbar okay you right click and then um manage layer toolbar so it will disappear but you can make sure you uh, you you it's appear by right, uh, right uh, clicking manage layer toolbar so here for example it's um it's a toolbar uh, panels where you add data so basically me i used to add vector data when we will be adding vector data uh, raster data and then um, some data you have collect on the field delimited text and here you have the statue bar i want to here you have the statue bar where um you see um, the coordinate of um where you see the coordinate of the place you are actually and also the scales the scale of uh when you will be adding data the scale on which uh, you are and also there is um this one is also um, important. It is the global uh, system coordinate, uh, EPSG uh, 4326. There is another place here. It's also a toolbar. It gives you uh, functionalities such as maybe when you try, want to digitizing data, when you want to select data, also uh, when um, you want to 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 to, to save or uh, to save your work, and then. This is uh, the uh, one important uh, place. This is where the ma your map or the data that you will be um, adding will be displayed. And then this is uh, the layer panel where all the data that you will be adding will be displayed. So you, you will be able to move. So let's go. Um, let's try to add one data. So to add a data on QGIS, if you don't have um, this uh, toolbar panel, you can add a layer here by clicking layer, add layer. So let's add a vector data, a vector layer, add vector layer. And then this screen uh, will be displayed. So here, the, this three point, you have to select the location uh, where we can find uh, your layer. You click and then, uh, so, Today we will be working in Cameroon. So let's select um, Cameroon admin tree. So it's come. And then you add. So let's close. So this is admin level tree. So it's uh, basically the subdivisions uh, boundary, uh, is the subdivisions level. So the next thing to do is uh, in terms of uh, symbiology. But before that, what we want to do, let me show you um, the open, um, the attribute tables. The attribute tables, it's really important when uh, you have layer because it gives you the information about the layer that you are displaying. By if you want to open the attribute layer, you right click and then you go to open attribute table. You see, you have like the name zero. So here Cameroons, you have the information that are displayed. Other information you have, uh, you can also uh, modify your attribute table. If you want to, uh, you, you click here and also you can, uh, uh, you can save it. So let's close it. Come so. so. What we want, we have to do is to change the symbology of um, our our layer. So we double click. Once we double click, we go to symbology, simple fill, and then we go to no brush, no brush. I can add like uh, the stroke to it and then i apply you will see on the back that it changed so i can just reduce the stroke width and i, I apply it i click okay so i can also do another thing like 
in terms of label, I can just uh, display the different name of each location. I do the same process. I double click. I go to, instead of going to semiology, I go to label and then single label. Single label, I just choose the name because you have like, if I click name zero, it will display like Cameroons. But uh, for this one, if I want the right name of each location, um, I click name three. So it's really important while creating data to um, really be organized uh, so that uh, there might be no confusion. So I applied. So you will see like the different name, um, the different names of uh, each place is appearing. So what if, if I need to select uh, a particular area, because it's also important. So to select a particular area, if you know that the area, so let's remove um, the, the label. To remove, you select no label and then you apply. If I have to select a particular area, so let's say today we are going to work in um, we are going to work in Fungi. Fungi is a subdivision. We it's located in the, the central regions. So you zoom in. So uh, if I know um, the area, I can choose this one. It is uh, a tool that allow you to select feature. You select it and then you click. You click, you click, you can do much, you can make multiple click by dragging, you can make multiple selection by dragging. But this is um, a way, or you can go to the open, uh, you, you can go to your uh, attribute table. Okay, let us add another um, layer before that. Add vector layer. Boundary two. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's say we will work with this one. So let's say uh, this is a subdivision. Uh, the subdivision layer. You go. We go to the open attribute table, and then we also have um, those uh, information here. So what we're going to do is to locate, um, is to find um, fungi uh, division. So we can just select filters and then field and value. We go then to name two equals, we can just add all unique here and then we search, we find for fungi. You see it up here, and then you add, you select feature. You will see that it's a, it has select features fungi here. Then we can reduce, and if we zoom in, we have fungi uh, here. And then if we want to um, register the layer that we have um, uh, select, we then go to we right click and then export. So export, if we select save feature as, so it will select the wall, it will select the wall layer like this one. It will select, it will upload, it will upload, um, it will create a new layer camera. But also if I want to save this one and then I right, I click here, and you then go to export, you will see that save select feature as will not, uh, it's it's uh, a bit locked because um, it is not the layer, um, the layer that we want to save select feature as it's not the good one. So you select the good layer and then you go to export, save selected feature as, and then there is many format uh, on which you can, save your work so we have a uh, geojson we have um uh, shape file but usually i personally i use geojson because 
and shape file uh, it's made up of four components if one component is, is uh, deleted uh, you won't be able uh, to open again uh, your file so it's uh, most it's more uh, easy with uh, GeoJSON. and then uh, if you're working on the task manager for example what when we will, you will want to um, upload maybe when you want to create an area by uploading a data that you have on your computer you will need to select the four um, the four formats uh, before it uploads while in GeoJSON you you only uh, have one file and then you select the location where you want to save your work so i have it here hot data quality interns result and then i click um fungi and i save once i save i click okay you will see now that we only have one one um one layer for fungi okay i can also change the symbology of that simple fill solid my brush and then i apply okay cool now what we're going to do is to now what we are going to do is to um install new plugin so the plugin are really interesting because it gives you uh, more functionalities um that to to make your work really really easy so um for this training we will just install two plugins uh we, we will have um the quick osm plugin Quick OSM plugin allow you to download OSM data on QGIS, and we will have Quick Map service. So it gives you uh, additional, um, it gives you imagery uh, services that uh, also can help you. So if you want to, for example, digitizing an area, um, you can find um, them on Quick Map service. So uh, to install plugin, you go to move to plugins. Manage and install plugin. Okay, here you have all. So these are so you. Uh, by the way, you need uh, internet connection to do uh, to install plugin. Um, these are the plugin that I have installed almost. Not install, upgradable. These are if if I need to upgrade the plugin that I have, I can do it those who are invalid install from zip and setting from so i go to all and i click i need uh, only two plugins for now uh this this one you select quick map service here i have almost installed it so it shows on install plugin but if you haven't it uh now it will show it will display here install plugin you let me uninstall it no i won't install it but if i install it uh you install you click install it will let me show you before okay, okay. install plugin so it's a okay now it's good once you have installed, it's good. You, you see plugin installed successfully. And then um, the other one, quick OSM. You select quick OSM here. And then um, if I uninstall it again, you click to install plugin. So uh, based on your internet connections, um, it takes maybe less than one minute or, or uh, um, up to five minutes. So here, plugin installs. So let's go for the first one, Quick OSM. So to see um, Quick OSM, 
you uh, to see the plugin quick OSM, you go to web. Uh, no, quick map service, sorry. Quick map service, you go to web, you click to quick map service. So you will see like many um, um, imagery uh, imagery uh, providers that we have. Like, for, let's go for example, Google Satellite imagery. Here you will see it's, yeah, uh, it's Fungi. It's I display it. Let's see. But um, sometimes when you go here, you will just see this one search um, QMS, add to search. It's, uh, it, this is because you have not uh, make sure you are, um, your imagery or your services um, are not uh, visible. So if it is not visible from your end, you go to setting. And then um, you go to uh, visibility. So here, it's say show all, hide all. So I'm sure it is hide all from your end. You uh, mention show all and then you save and you go back, go to quick map service. It will go to quick map service and then you see, you will see uh, all the, the services. So let's move to quick OSM. So quick OSM here. So as I said before, quick OSM allow you to download download OSM uh, data uh, that uh, are, uh, that are on OSM server. So you there is, here is the logo of quick OSM. So let's take for example use case. We wish to know for example um, the hospitals that are in this area. So let's activate. Let's we want to see. We want to see. Um, we want to see the uh, hospital that we have uh, in this particular. Just uh, God. Okay, let me. Right. Okay, cool. And then this one. Okay. Okay. So, for example, I click to quick OSM. You click, once you click quick OSM, so quick OSM, um, it's the same thing uh, with OSM as uh, when you want to tag a layer, you need to um add the key and value so for example this one is not really mandatory but the most important thing when you are on quick osm is to mention the key and the value of the entities that you are looking for and the next one is also to give a precision about location of the object that you're looking for like let's say for example we are looking for hospitals in Fungi uh, divisions. The key of hospital on OSM is amenity. And the value is hospital. So you can add or delete uh, more amenity. You can add amenity, you can add um, key and value, or you can delete. So this one is also important in. So if I said in, I can add a name or a name of a place in Cameroon, for example, or in Yaoundé. If I go to around, it's the same thing. I should add the name of a place. Or you also have like uh, the distance that you want to show the hospital around a particular place. So the best way, if you already have a layer, is to go to layer extent, and then you select the good layer. This one is Fungi Hot That Quality Intern. And then you 
and then you uh, you I'm not seeing display but okay you have like and then you run the query so amenity hospital layer extend fungi and then you run the query let's wait sometimes depending um on the information of the osm information in the particular area it won't be able to be displayed but i think here it it is okay so here we have amenity hospital as polygon you see we have amenity hospital as line let me zoom to the layer so but Actually, we'll be just using Amenity Hospital as a point. So I will just delete Amenity Hospital, Hospital, uh, Polygon, Amenity Hospital um, line. You can delete here, remove layer. And then something that's really interesting is also, you see those hospitals, they are not really uh, on the boundary of my area. I can decide to make sure that all the hospital, I, I just need all the hospital in this particular area. So why do I do? I go to, I first you select amenity hospital and go, then you go to vector, geoprocessing tool, clip. So here you will see Amenity Hospital, overlay layer, you select Fungi, hot that quality intern, and then you can run. So you will see that the clip one, the clip one is adapt to um, our boundary, but this one, uh, there's, but this one, there are some layer that are not uh, really, uh, in our boundary so i can delete this one can remove this one and then i save this one export save feature as file name i select the location i type hospital G. and i save Okay, I can delete clip one. Uh, Becky, do we have some question on the chat? Um, I think yes. Um, I tried to answer some of them, but I think you can re echo. Um, someone is analyst asking in version three, in case there is an update of a plugin and you don't have internet service, will the plugin still work? Um, come again, please. Um, in case you there's they can update on of a plugin and uh, you do not have internet to update the plugin, will the plugin still work or you'll have issues using it? No, no, you don't have issue. The plugin still work. Actually, uh, if you you see, once the plugin is installed, so uh, it will continue to 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 show, uh, to work. But um, even for example, actually, my quick OSM is not updated, but I use it even if I ha I don't have an internet connection. But once, once we have you have installed uh, your plugin, uh, sorry, light issue, but anyway, it's not a problem. Uh, but once you have installed it, um, it will be uh, okay for you to use it uh, whenever or wherever you want. Yeah. Awesome. Another question from Shabani is saying, can QGIS be used for digitization as Josim? I said yes. And um, I also mentioned that you probably will show us how to digitize in QGIS. Okay, how to digitize in QGIS. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can make, I can do it. Yeah, we can also digitize it in QGIS uh, even if it's a... Uh, <laughs> It takes too much time because uh, in Joseph it's really, really easy. Uh, the tools are really easy, but how we can digitize it with QGIS? So first, if you have like, um, let's show this Google map.
let's show this. Yeah, this Google Map, um, Google Satellite Imagery. And then you want to maybe uh, digitize it with PGIS. So it means you, you will have to create a new, data, a new data, not add a new data. So to create a new data in PGIS, you see this toggle editing. First, you have to create a new layer. Uh, you go to layer, create layer, new shape file layer. And then you select the file name. Let's select, let's go to, let's say building. It will be the same thing if you want to um, create maybe a point of interest, for example, also. Geometry code, it's also important. So point, if I want to create building, it will be polygon. And then uh, the coordinated system, basically I, you can leave it, or you can also use the local um, coordinated system. In Cameroon, we have, we have two. I can select this one, UTM zone 32 north. And then um, I can leave it like that. And then I take to, okay. So I can close this one. Hospital, okay. Here we have the building. So let's assume I want to map, I want to digitize this building. So the first thing to do, we have almost created the layer. The second thing, what we have to do, uh, depending maybe on the entities, points, line, polygons, you will see uh, a particular, uh, see a particular um, object. So for example, as we are adding polygons, let's click here and then go. Okay, like here is just ID. I add and can continue. It's the same thing to add, um, create the same thing. So I think it's more difficult because it's, uh, as in GSM, I don't, actually, I don't know how to, or to, uh, to make sure that uh, the different, um, uh, the different maybe line are really uh, are orthogonalized, so it's really difficult. So this is how you can create a polygon. And there is also one tool if you are maybe you want to follow um, one place. You want if the if you are maybe uh, you want to map. Let's assume that there is this is a a farmland and there is another farmland sharing the boundary with this one. There is this magnet to enable snapping. So it will, it's allowing you to connect this uh, farm, uh, this the boundary of this area. Let's see. So you see, once you select it, and then you go here, it basically it show you where uh, the, the, the node of this one, and then you can continue, you see, then if you continue. So it allow, it, 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 um, it allow you to avoid overlapping maybe of, um, of, of uh, entities. So let's close. I hope I answered to your question. I can delete this one. Okay. Yes, he's he's actually happy in the chat. So, so from here, let's go. We want to create a um, map as we have almost. So I can use again uh, another um, plugin on PQSM, like adding buildings in this area. Key building value. 
yes, in this particular area, there extend um, hospital Fungi. So, if you have that by the inter, and I run the query. So if it takes too much time, it's because um, uh, there are quantity of data that are mapped uh, this particular area. So sometimes it won't give, you will receive an, a, an error message. With beat. Okay, you see, like overpass API, API uh, timeout regular. So let's leave it. I can decide to maybe show the different name of the hospital here, label, hospital fungi, and then I go to labels, single labels, and then, um, yeah, I can leave Yeah, You see, like, yeah, this one is just show the name. So let's say that we want to uh, create a map with this area. So to create a map, to go to um, project, um new report and then you create uh you say um what's that quality return and select okay oh it's not report like that <laughs> it's uh it's, um new print layer not really okay now this is the place you have to display uh, your data so if you select this one uh, it allow you to show you want to add a map So here, once you add a map, here is the scale. You can decide to um, to reduce or to increase your scale. You can decide to change the um, orientation of your format or your page in landscape. Or um, so I can decide to go to item properties by clicking, select. I click page properties, orientation, you have here the size, orientation A4, orientation landscape. I can decide to put it on portrait orientation, you see? And I can reduce, I can, so I can decide also to increase the scales that put in 19, see, I zoom in. If you want to move only this, you want to put it uh, in the middle, you want to move only uh, the object of your map, you select this one and then you can move it. The page will not move. Uh, it's good, 16. You want to change the skills. Okay. So it's okay. So the main information that you have to add, for example, the not arrow is here. You can add it here. So it's 
can add not arrow here. Another things you can add is um, the scale, scale bar. You can still add it here. And uh, any times that maybe you you add things, you just select if you want to uh, modify that particular object. You can just select the object and you go to uh, the left on the right of uh, your computer to modify. For example, the scale bar you can change um, it to meter. For example, but let's leave in kilometer. You can also add pictures if you want to. For example, for this particular school, if you have a picture of your school, you can just um, first give kind of orientation like this one. And then you can add the image of that school here just to show that this here is a, is a school. You can, something that's really important also is, um, is a map. Okay. If you go down, you go to grade. It's also important. First, you can add the frame. Select, still select. We go to grid. We add a grid and we modify it. Um, but unit is very centimeter. It sometimes cross. And then it's uh, you are supposed to select the good one in terms of um, offset that you need. Object source, up source. Let's go to, uh, yeah, millimeter in terms of millimeter, but you can just modify it here. See, you can still modify. You can modify then in terms of offset, you can change it from here. So, it's the way. Okay. Can just change it here. Can change, change, change. Usually, it's not really good to have uh, too many cross inside your map. So, I just you can reduce it here. I can just increase it here, and then um. So, okay. So, what if if I want to show um coordinate so let's go draw coordinate see here and then um show all so here you see that it there is a kind of overlapping um here i will say like i want to change the orientation of the coordinate, those coordinates so if i go but let's go on the left outside frame horizontal. I change. You see that it has changed here. Right. Also change the orientation. So uh, we change no no um horizontal. Yep. And then uh, we can leave on the bottom. So I can decide also to change the precision of my coordinate uh, precision to one. And then um, there is something that we should be also able to do. Uh, what next? So here, yeah, so it's not really recommend to leave uh, the. It's not recommend to leave um, the too, too many um, uh, cross here because uh, 
the most important thing here is the, the map that you're producing. So the coordinates are really important, but it's the information that you are producing, uh, you have, you want to show to the, your user that are really important. And then we have the legend. So you can modify, you, you can remove information. So I want to, the information that I want to share is the hospital uh, in Fungi. So I will keep, I will keep, you can select, I can auto update, auto update, you deselect this one. And then you click, you remove, click, you remove, no need, we don't need Google Satellite also. And then you can also modify the name just by double clicking and then you click hospital. It will change. After you, you, you can also change it, you say uh, boundaries. Um, Boundary and say it like this. Okay, it's about legend, and then um, also there is something if you have the logo or maybe a company that you have to do uh, to also add. You can it is an image, so you can add it. There is also um. Uh, skills legend uh, the title for the title you can just it's not well organized sorry but for the title you can just click to text and then um for the text we add it here you can modify it let's say um hospital uh in fungi subdivision hospital in fungi subdivision you can decide to change um also the can decide to change the font here so feel free to change uh select the font that is good for you so select and also the size of your text. So you, you see, you will see like, depending on the size of the font you select. So there, there are some of uh, them have particular characteristics. So let's go to, let's go to okay. You see it, it's, it shows better. So um, yeah, I think that I'm done. I, <laughs> I go through my time, sorry. Five minutes August. <laughs> um, no problem. Maybe just one more thing. Uh, I wanted to mention we are going to have a, another session next week and they'll go deeper okay. into printing out the map. Maybe if you can show them how to print out the map and how to export it, sorry. And maybe we can try to create simple maps from what we have learned today. And then next week we shall go ahead and learn more stuff. Okay, good. How to print a map, right? How to export it. Okay, how to export map. So once you have finished um, to do uh, uh, this work, like there are some, sorry, there are some elements that are missing. I've seen, but how to export it, you go to layout, um, export. If you go to layout, export, you have many formats. You can export your map to PDF, you can export your map as an image. Though, so feel really free to um, to select uh, depending on the work that you are uh, you you will be doing. Feel free to select uh, the format that uh, you are good. So uh, let's go with an as image. So if you select as image, you have to select also the location of uh, your where you want to to see um, your map and then you save um yeah also save so i think it's safe but now uh if i want to check if um 
I've saved it well. I go to, the, I found a location. Let me stop it here from here. I find it on result. And then this is the, the, the files that I, I double click to see what, how it shows. Okay, here is the map. Yeah, uh, it's the, the file that I saved. And then, um, yeah, so it's it's a bit incomplete, but it is how we export um, a, 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 map, a map that we have produced. So I think I'm done, Becky. Awesome. Um, just uh, just wanted to answer Shabani that we shall talk more about uh, that next week about your question, reprojection, importing data from different uh, um, hot export tools, etc. And maybe just for Kingsley, if uh, he was talking about timeout, if it's if there's a timeout, is there a way to increase the timeout uh, from twenty five seconds default? Mm, it's something that I haven't text because uh, when uh, uh, sometimes because there are different ways, you know, if uh, sometimes you, you want to upload uh, data from OSM into QGIS and the area that um, you the area have contains uh, many information, if even if you increase the, the time, uh, not sure that you will still receive uh, uh, that error message. So, um, but definitely I'm sure it's something that I can check and then share with you, but uh, I, it's, not, it's something that I haven't checked. Okay, I was not asking. I was giving solution to the time out. Okay, yeah, thank you, Kingsley. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Eve, uh, for this session. Um, so guys, I'm going this, session has been recorded and i'll share the recording as soon as it is processed and yeah thank you everyone have a great day thank you bye, bye everyone bye 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 bye